हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द टॉपिक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे इज कैंसर सेल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस थ्री थिंग्स अबाउट कैंसर सेल्स फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन टू कैंसर सेल्स एंड हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम नॉर्मल सेल्स सेकेंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ कैंसर सेल्स एंड थर्ड अल्टर्ड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कैंसर सेल्स नाउ लेट एस ऑल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट कैंसर सेल्स आर If you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads now let us continue with the remaining part of the video cancer cells by definition proliferate in defiance of normal control and are able to invade and colonize surrounding tissues that is they are malignant by giving rise to secondary tumors or metastasis they become difficult to eradicate surgically most cancer are thought to originate from a single cell that has experienced an initial mutation but the progeny of this cell must undergo further changes requiring numerous additional mutations to become cancerous this phenomenon of tumor progression which usually takes many years reflects the unfortunate operation of evolution by mutation and natural selection among somatic cells the rational treatment of cancer requires an understanding of the special properties that cancer cells acquire as they evolve multiply and spread these special properties include alteration in cell signaling pathways enabling the cells in a tumor to ignore the signals from their environment that normally keep cell proliferation under tight control in this way the cells are first able to proliferate abnormally in their original tissue and then to metastasize surviving and proliferating in original tissues now let us understand the characteristics of a typical cancer cells three types of changes that occurs when a cell becomes tumorogenic they are first immortalization which describes the property of infinite growth second transformation which describes the failure to observe the normal constraints of growth for example transformed cells becomes independent of factors needed for cell growth and third metastasis which describes the stage at which the cancer cell gains the ability to invade normal tissue so that it can move from the tissue of origin and establish a new colony elsewhere in the body now let us understand the altered properties of cancer cells there are 10 altered properties of cancer cells they are first encourage dependence in contrast to a normal cell cancerous cells do not need any solid substratum for attachment second serum independence cancerous proliferation is independent of the serum a key requirement for a normal cell growth third loss of contact inhibition non transformed cells grow in a monolayer since their proliferating ceases when their membranes contact each other this property is called contact inhibition which is not found in cancerous cell fourth abnormal cell to cell contact due to alteration in the surface molecules of a cancerous cell cell to cell contact becomes abnormal in other words a cell becomes a molecular criminal having no social behavior fifth increased permeability of membranes to meet the metabolic demand of cancerous cell rapid transport of ions and raw materials for the increased synthesis of macromolecules sixth diffusion of receptors in cancer cells the glycoproteins tend to diffuse more easily within the lipid bilayer this is caused by disorganization of the microfilaments that normally are attached to the plasma membrane and that reduce the motility of receptors seventh leaky neovasculature in cancer cells certain membrane proteins disappear and thus sugar uptake increases Cancer cell frequently release some intracellular enzymes to the medium indicating the cell leakage. Eighth, increased rate of glycolysis. Cancer cell proliferation requires large amount of energy for mediating metabolism. This requires large fueling of carbohydrates such as glucose. Glycolysis is the key pathway involved in the energy generation by utilizing glucose and hence the increased rate. 
नाइन्थ इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल चेंजेस कैंसर सेल्स अंडर गो चेंजेस इन प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन इन द सेल कोट इन कल्चर दे शो मोर इलेक्ट्रोफोरेटिक मोबिलिटी ओविंग टू द इंक्रीज नंबर ऑफ नेगेटिव चार्जेस प्रोवाइडेड बाय द मोर एबेंडेंट अमाउंट ऑफ ग्लाइकोसमाइन ग्लाइकन्स इन द सेल कोट मेनी सेल्स शो इलेक्ट्रिकल अनकपलिंग ओविंग टू द डिसअपेरियंस ऑफ गैप जंक्शन टेंथ हॉर्मोनल इम्बैलेंसेस द ग्रोथ ऑफ द नॉर्मल सेल इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स विच इंड्यूस माइटोसिस इन द केस ऑफ नॉर्मल सेल्स इट इज पॉसिबल टू कंट्रोल द अवेबिलिटी ऑफ सरफेस रिसेप्टर्स फॉर ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स इन कैंसर सेल इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट दिस इज अनकंट्रोलेबल एंड दस माइटोटिक डिविजन कैनॉट बी कंट्रोल्ड